Okay, so this is how to add a uh, IP TCIP printer to Windows 8. And the first thing we're going to do is check our connectivity and download our driver. Um, so I've gone to the Brother website and found the driver. Um, you need to check your version. I'm on 64 bit Windows 8 and I'm going to download the driver only. Um, when the EXE is downloaded, we'll extract it later so you can see the raw INF files. Um, secondly, we want to check the IP address of our printer. Um, so I've whacked it into Internet Explorer. Um, and it came up with the UI, so that means it works, and I can also ping it and see that it works there as well. Um, if you get stuck at this stage and it's not replying when you ping, then you need to check your network connectivity and work out what IP your printer's on. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and install it. So if you go back to the start menu, um, right click go to all apps, and then you should see a control panel. So you click on control panel, and then under hardware and sound, you see view devices and printers. Don't press add a device, just go view devices and printers. And then at the top here, we can see add a printer. Um, it's going to search for some. If it lists it, brilliant. You can just press next, and it will install it for you. Um, I'm going to do printer wasn't listed, because mine wasn't. Um, and then I'm going to choose add a printer using a TCP IP address or host name, and hit next. Um, leave the device top in order to detect, that's fine. Um, then in the host name, just type in the IP of your printer. So mine's on 192.168.1.220. Uh, yours will vary. Um, and you can query the printer for the driver. It will look from Windows updates, but I like to force the latest one from the manufacturer on there. So I'm going to untick that and press next. This next station can take a little while, so I fast forwarded it. Um, once it's got there, we're going to have a list of um, stuff from Windows updates. Uh, but in this case, we're going to press have disk because we have the file that we need. Um, so click on browse. And then we can browse to the location where your um, driver is located. Um, I put mine in downloads and I've already extracted it because um, you want to look for the INF file. So you can just extract it with a program like WinRAR. Um, then choose the printer from the list of your driver works with. So mine's the 2250DN, brilliant printer. And then you just need to name your printer. So I'm going to call it my first printer. It will go ahead and install it and uh, press yes to the UAC. Uh, there's another video if you want to learn how to remove that one. Um, I'm not going to share it because it's a network printer anyway, so people will be better off connecting directly to it. Hit next, and then you can print a test page to check that your connectivity works, and then hit finish. Um, you will then see your printer here. It may take a few seconds to install. Um, so I'll just uh, if I come back out of it and then go back in, and it should be there. Just bear with me a moment. Um, so go back in, and it should have installed. OK, so you can see it's installing there, and if you right-click, you can make sure it's your default printer. I um, hope that's been helpful for you, and thanks for watching.